Eli Manning has accomplished just about everything an NFL quarterback could hope to. He was drafted first overall, he's won two Super Bowls, but there's still something he hasn't done. He's never taken a decent photograph. And I would know. I'm his personal photographer. Photographing Eli Manning is tough. He just has a dumb face. Normally NFL teams hire one photographer to photograph the whole team, but Eli is so not photogenic, the Giants hired me to just photograph Eli. People always ask me, is Eli Manning as dumb as he looks? And the answer is no. He's actually one of the smartest quarterbacks. It's just that his face is dumb. It's like the Blake Bortles of faces. Sometimes Eli looks confused dumb. Sometimes he looks scared dumb. Sometimes he looks guy who got his face stuck in a fan dumb. But usually, he just looks dumb dumb. You know how kids don't quite know how to smile yet, so they just kind of grit their teeth? Eli's like that. Except he's 36 and he somehow has less control over his face. I decorate my office with the best photos I could get of him. This is Eli at the NFL Draft. He said it was the happiest day of his life. At this point, I've resorted to using Photoshop to make Eli look like he's smiling. I don't know, is this better? God, Eli, I hate your face. There are certain kinds of specialty photographers that would kill for a model like Eli. You know, if you wanted to take a stock photo about memory loss or adult illiteracy. At this point, I'm just ready to give up. Maybe I'll start photographing some other quarterback. Just not Jay Cutler. He's always asleep or naked. In the sports photography community, I'm known as the fixer. When it became obvious that LeBron was losing his hair, I found an angle that made it look like he wasn't. But there's no good angle for Eli. 